we are going to talk about endocervical cells, the regular ones. So, as we can see, there is a cervical smear, liquid one, and we are going to look for endocervical cells and its different patterns. Endocervical cells, normally in a, any cervical smear, have um, two common patterns. The, this one, it's uh, what I call it's more like a honeycomb pattern. The cells are disposed in a monolayer of endocervical cells. It seems like those things that the bees have. As we can see on higher scope, the cells are mixed between them and they have a um, regular nuclei, a blend chromatin and doesn't show any atypia. So this is a very classical pattern found in normal and cervical cells. Another one here. Sorry, this is not. <laughs> so we're going to look for Sometimes you have this more sheet, open sheet of endocervical cells and the blurs between the cells are more clear. So one can see this uh, cytoplasm is more, it's a stronger one, so you can see the, the boundaries between cells. And the nuclei are okay, They're, they have no signs of atypia. This is also a very common pattern for in the normal in cervical cells in cervical smear. I really enjoy uh, the liquid smear. It's a better way to see the, any kind of cells, especially in cervical ones. So we also have another common pattern and we'll find it soon here. It is uh, what I call it's a Indian hat pattern. As one can remember those films, Asian films with uh, native Indians, the hats that they have above their head with this mud color. So it's a very unique pattern for endocervical normal and cervical cells and it's very important to recognize it because we have a pattern for endocervical adenocarcinoma as we can also have this pattern and the difference between them is the layer, multi-layered uh, cells and, and you can see in uh, adenocarcinoma and an elongated nuclei as we cannot see it in benign one. So here we can have this called Indian hat pattern. So back to back nuclei. There is no much uh, superposition between them and they are very well polarized one. The nuclei are round, no nucleoli and we can also have uh, some amount of cytoplasm. This is a very common pattern for benign endocervical cells. So you can, one can also see isolated endocervical cells, all small groups like this one. Here we have only three cells. It tends to be more like it, showing to be a metaplastic phenotype, but it is also in cervical cells. And we can have these small groups also, it's more classical, with a more abundant cytoplasm and polarized nuclei with blend, so, blend chromatin and soft uh, nuclei membrane. So that is okay for in cervical cells. It's a very beautiful one. So another monolayer sheet of endocervical cells. Here we have a um, more clear boundary between the cells 
in this part below and above we have it's it's a more like a different incidental sides of the cells as one can see here so this is why you have this a more elongated uh, below and a more compact one in a almost a different directions for the nuclei it's a different of incidence for the cut for this picture and we're trying to look for more groups of endocervical cells is very good one here monolayer mono sheets of cells a small group compact ones it's very very important to be familiar with these uh, normal parts of endocervical components as uh, endocervical adenocarcinoma is rising in its incidence and it's a very there is a very a clear diagnosis criteria for it so one can be familiar with this common patterns and benign patterns is going to be easier to make the diagnosis for the carcinoma when it appears here you have a very beautiful one for this what I call an Indian hat old Indian hat pattern so polarized nuclei they are soft they are round to oval and we have this very uh, large cytoplasm above and the glands are back to back and the cells are back to back it's a very beautiful one okay thanks